Today, I've got a major challenge for you. I want you to take a look at what you're currently spending on marketing, whether it's brochures, your website, pay-per-clicks, PR, newspaper ads, direct mail, social media, all of it. And I want you to slash the total budget by 20%. No matter what you're selling and where you're selling, I guarantee that you won't miss that 20%. And there's a very good reason for that. 96% of the people who see your message right now don't get it. You're spending thousands of dollars each year on sales and marketing materials, and the vast majority of your prospects don't understand your message. So they can't possibly recall it and buy from you. So with the money you just saved in your pocket, we're going to take a few minutes right now to re-engineer your message and give you a much better chance of getting through and being understood. The good news is this, it's not going to cost you much to take the time right now to create a message that helps more of your prospects to say yes. And if more leads say yes, the money you do spend on sales and marketing is going to produce a much better return. To prove my point, I'd like to make you an interesting offer. I can either offer you $50 cash right now or a piece of paper where I will write the, next, the net present value of an annuity for 50 bucks at a compound interest rate of 10% adjusted for CPI. Which of these sounds more appealing to you? Which would you rather take right now? Which of these can you take, put in your wallet, or spend it at the shopping center? Unless you are one of the very rare individuals who can calculate in your head right now the value of my second offer, I'm willing to bet you'd rather just take the $50. And that makes a whole lot of sense because everybody knows what $50 is and what it's worth. There's nothing confusing about it, is there? The part of your brain that makes decisions isn't interested in working hard to figure out what your message means and what it's worth. The part of your brain is looking for something that is tangible. And if you're unsure about whether a message is tangible or not, just ask yourself, would a six-year-old understand it? Think about it. If I offer you a $50 note or an orange, you don't have to think very hard about it to figure out what I'm offering you, do you? Both of them are equally easy to understand. As soon as you see it, you know what it is, and you know exactly what you can do with it. 50 bucks will buy you enough food to cook a meal. And the orange, you know that's good for you. It's tasty and you can eat it. There are no directions and heavy thinking required to make sense of what I'm offering you. Your new brain doesn't have to do any thinking and wasting time to get that message. So what does this mean for you and your message and your customers? If you're making it hard for your customers to understand what you do, and whether they're getting a good deal or not, you need to spend some time right now making your offer more tangible. Ask yourself, does my message include a whole bunch of big words, fluff and jargon? Could it be boiled down to something that even a six-year-old could understand? What do you need to do to communicate it more clearly and to help your prospects to be able to say yes? Can you simplify the words that you use or introduce a photo or a prop to get your message across fast, faster. Now, I think you can guess you know, that coming up with a simple, succinct message is a lot harder than being lazy and throwing together an ad full of useless and complicated information. A good rule of thumb is to remember that you should be working harder to craft and simplify your message than your prospect has to in order to decipher it. Somebody's got to do the hard work. Either you're committed to doing it beforehand or your customer will need to think about it. Now, if you're serious about saving money and getting the best return on every dollar that you invest, you won't spend another cent until you stop and take a good hard look at whether you, you know, look at your materials and do whatever it takes to make your message more tangible. You don't have to spend more money to chase and find customers. What you need to do is to take the complication and confusion out of your message so that more prospects can say yes to it right now.